Hello everyone, welcome to Comprehensive Credit Repair. I am Derek Smith, your credit repair specialist, and I want to welcome you to another credit repair tip. So today we're going to talk about the parts of your credit score and basically how those parts affect your credit. There are essentially five main parts of a credit score. They're designed to create a more comprehensive setup for your expenses and financial responsibilities. These five points are listed in order from the most important to least important based on what directly influences your credit score. I'm going to talk about all five of them. Uh, the details that I have in this video are based on what FICO considers to be the most important. The percentages next to each part are approximate variables that FICO has listed in the past. The group is very secretive as to what it will specifically consider when computing your credit history so we don't know 100 percent let's begin with your payment history your payment history makes up 35 percent of your credit score it refers to how well you are making the payments that you owe on debts and that you are handling them responsibly in particular you're going to need to make your regular payments on time and in full to keep your credit history healthy FICO states that a strong payment history is based on someone's ability to pay debts regularly and to avoid being overextended. Your debts should be easily covered by your income. FICO may not penalize someone heavily for one or two missed payments, but they will review how you made those payments over time. It will become a significant problem for those who cannot handle their finances and miss or are late making payments. The key for your credit score is to get as many on-time payments as possible. Those who can show that they can pay off their debts on time will receive higher scores. Let's take a look at what types of debts are factored into your score. There are many types of debt. First are credit cards. You have to pay credit card transactions regularly and on time as these debts are considered unsecured debts. All type of credit cards are considered part of your credit history. This includes not only the cards you regularly use, but also the ones you don't use. Those unused cards are seen as open lines of credit that show you have more money to work with at any time. Next are retail accounts. Any charge card accounts or other accounts with specific retailers will influence your payment history. These accounts are devoted to only one retailer. Although many retailers offer these credit accounts to give customers special benefits and rewards, they will also charge high rates and fees to those who do not pay their debts on time. The cards from retailers might seem appealing because they offer certain rewards, but be careful to pay them off monthly so as not to incur high monthly interest rates. Number three are loans or other long-term debts. These include student loans, car loans, and mortgage loans. You have to make sure those loans are paid off regularly to avoid high interest charges. Your payment history will include details on how well you can pay off those loans. FICO particularly places an emphasis on mortgage loans. These are high value loans that have long amortization and have collateral attached to most of these loans. These include vehicles and other items you might have acquired through a loan. Defaulting on a loan and forfeiting your collateral will hurt your credit rating severely. Number four is regular accounts with financial companies. You must watch for how those regular accounts can affect your payment history. You must also make sure they are paid off regularly. Let's discuss what happens when you miss a payment. FICO is not necessarily going to penalize you for every single missed payment you might have on your report. FICO would judge you based on many factors relating to that missed payment. This could impact how you are able to handle the payments. The first thing they look at are how late are your payments. FICO will penalize you if you are significantly late on your payment. You might not be penalized if you are not if you are one or two days late, but the penalty can be significant if you are late one week or more. FICO respects those who are responsible. Number two is how much money you owed. You can be penalized more if you owed hundreds or thousands of dollars. A missed payment is then significant. Number three is how recent were your missed payments. The impact of a missed payment would be minimal if it was recent and does not constitute a pattern of missed or late payments. Your credit score will improve because it will be noticed that you are responsible with your payments. One missed payment will be a thing of the past after you get back to your regular payment schedule. Number four is the number of missed payments. It is one thing to have one missed payment in a year. It is another when you have several of them in a short period of time. In that case, you will be penalized. And number five is whether or not a debt has been written off. Your credit rating will be hurt dramatically if your creditor determines that you are not going to pay and have written off the debt. In addition, the creditor might not allow you to pay off that charge off or even access to the fund account that needs to be covered. What you owe is 30% of your credit score. So the second most important part of your credit history involves the amounts of money that you owe at any given time. 
Those who spend more money are often reviewed carefully because they are reliant on financial loans. Here are six points to understanding what you owe. Number one is how much money do you owe on all of your accounts? The total amount of money that you owe on all your accounts will impact on your credit history. The amount of money listed on each account refers to what you owe on that account. A loan payment includes charges for the principal and interest on the loan. For credit and charge cards, the total amount of money that you owe on each of those cards will be listed. The balance that is listed is generally the one that was shown on your last statement. Therefore, you might have something listed on your credit card even if you already paid a prior month's payment. This suggests that you will have to pay something on the next billing period or else you would have to pay extra interest, which will hurt your overall credit history. Number two is, what do you owe on certain types of accounts? The variety of accounts that you have will be a factor. You could be penalized if you owe more money on unsecured debts like charger credit cards. Anything that entails debts that cannot be retrieved through collateral will make a greater impact on your credit history. Number three is how are you using your credit on revolving accounts? A revolving account refers to an account where you might have a certain amount of money owed in one point versus another. For instance, you might owe $500 on a credit card one month and $70 the next and then $450 after that. This is all based on whatever you have put on that card at the time. Those who pay off their revolving accounts regularly, regardless of how much money is added to those accounts, will have better credit reports. One trick that FICO uses involves looking at how much money you are spending on a revolving account when compared with your limit. FICO prefers people who spend well under their limits. For instance, you might have a credit card with a limit of $3,000. Your credit rating would not be hurt if you only spend $600 on that card within a billing period. Meanwhile, your credit rating could be harmed if you spend $2,800. However, your credit rating might be affected if you do not spend anything against your limit. You have to show that you are capable of working with the limit responsibility. Number four, how many accounts do you hold that have balances on them? The number of accounts you are actively using will influence your credit rating. If you can show that you are responsible for managing many lines of credit at a time without problem, your credit rating will not be affected. If you have lines of credit that have no activity, you could end up being at risk of your credit history being considered unhealthy. When you have too many accounts with high amounts owed on them, it might indicate that you have overstended your credit and are at risk of serious financial harm. Number five is, are you close to maxing out your credit cards or other lines of credit? This point relates to your ability to use the credit on revolving accounts. While FICO does indeed look at how well you use revolving accounts and that you can pay off varying amounts of them, you must also watch your limits. There's a reason why limits are placed on those cards. The groups that issue the cards don't want to be at risk of people borrowing too much at a time. Those who are close to maxing out their cards will be damaging their credit score. That is, those people who spend near or at their credit limits will be treated as high-risk borrowers who could be taking in more than what they can afford to manage. And finally, number six is what do you owe on a loan when compared with its original amount? The amount of money you owe on your loan is supposed to go down. Interest charges and other fees may apply, but the principal on your loan should be decreasing. Those who pay on their loans regularly and reduce the total they owe will have better credit ratings. For instance, a person who borrowed $20,000 for a car loan could have paid $4,000 on that loan, which amounts to having 80% of the loan still owing. If the loan was prepaid in one year by $10,000, then 50% of that loan is still owed. At this point, you are showing that you are indeed paying off your loan as you're supposed to, therefore improving your credit score. What if you only paid a few thousand and you had 75% still on after a year? Your rating will not go up because you are only putting in the minimal effort into handling your loan. Of course, your credit rating will improve if that percentage decreases. You can only keep that interest on your loan from increasing dramatically if you manage to repay your loans responsibly. This includes making payments above the minimums that you should pay each month. These six factors that I just went over will influence your credit score based on how you are repaying your debt. Let's take a look at credit history length. That gives you 15% of your credit rating. So FICO appreciates people who are willing to continue using certain credit lines while ensuring those lines are consistently paid off without issues. By showing responsibility with those credit lines, you're indicating you're ready to pay your debts without problems. People who have larger credit histories are often favored and they might be seen as people able to manage their debts for a long time. At the same time though, those people with longer histories might be seen as risky individuals due to how they are continuing to have substantial debts even after many years. This third part of your credit score is judged on two factors. Number one, the average age of each account. 
and number two, the age of whatever the oldest account is. You could benefit if you have covered the same credit card for years and have paid it off consistently over all that time. Creditors appreciate loyalty and your loyalty can help you to become more appealing and attractive. Adding new lines of credit is only going to hurt you at this point. By adding a new line, you are just reducing the average length of your cards. This could make you a more high-risk client when all is considered. There are no golden standards for how long your credit history should be. Your history could last for several years in some cases. The types of credit is 10% of your credit rating, and there are many credit choices for you to explore. The key is to simply not open any credit card unless you have a definite plan to use it. Those who have too many credit accounts might be seen as high-risk borrowers. Therefore, you should look at what you are doing with the accounts you initiate and that you have a sensible plan in hand for how you're going to manage those accounts. This is a low-value part of your credit score. You might be encouraged to look at the different types of credit you can take advantage of so you can get something that works well for your financial needs. In the end, it's up to you to decide how to use your credit so it's not hard for you to use and maintain. Inquiries and new credit is 10%. So the last 10% of your account is dedicated to the inquiries you make. An inquiry takes place when someone looks at your credit account. Perhaps you wish to apply for a charge card at your favorite local retailer. You would have to consent to that retailer doing a search on your credit history to ensure you can be approved for the card. The search would also determine the credit limit you have on that card. The retailer would make an inquiry on your credit. At this point, you would be listed as having asked for an inquiry on your credit report. It's fine and normal to have one inquiry every once in a while. This is especially the case when you are performing your regular credit checks with each of the main reporting bureaus. You can come across some problems if you make too many inquiries within a short period of time. Your credit rating may be hurt when you have lots of inquiries because you are showing an interest in various types of credit options. You will be perceived as a credit risk because you are indicating that you are attempting to increase your debt. So how far back will the content go? The greatest thing about your credit is that these five points will go back several years. You may find items in your report that are at least seven years old. The credit reports you have are based on how well you've been able to manage money over the years. You must be careful when managing your credit as every mistake you make is going to be on that report for a while. The content can go back 10 years in the event of a bankruptcy as well. In fact, any serious problems that show up on your report will be reflected on your credit rating. It is one thing to miss a payment and that is not necessarily going to hurt your credit rating much or at all, but it's another when you have been subjected to a court ruling that caused you to declare bankruptcy. You must be aware of what you're doing when it comes to your credit. Be sure to manage your finances, including all your credit cards, so that your credit score will be affected positively and not negatively. So look folks, fixing your credit is difficult and managing your finances is difficult as well. I'm a pro at both and I can help you do it. Learn more about my services at www.comprehensivecreditrepair.com. And by the way, when you sign up for my service, you get a free luxury vacation to one of 51 available locations I have. So go right over now to www.comprehensivecreditrepair.com and sign up. I'll see you in the next video.